Well, welcome back, family night servants. Grateful for our first night last Wednesday. And tomorrow night, we're doing session number two. And what's interesting is the last time we did this VBS program, uh, you know, we always do only four nights. And this is the session that we skipped last time. So I am recording our uh, devotional this time. As you notice, we've been, we'll be using uh, recycling the video uh, devotions that we did before when we did it as a VBS. But this session focuses on David and Goliath. And you know, Goliath's people, the Philistines, were the enemies of David's people in that time. This is around 1020 BC. And what was common maybe during that time was for representatives from two nations to come and battle it out rather than having the whole army battle it out. And the one that wins, their nation wins the battle. And so that was what was going on. Goliath was challenging the people of Israel and the armies of Israel for another person to come out to do a duel, basically. The problem for Israel in this story was that no one, not even King Saul, was brave enough to face Goliath except for David. But David wasn't a soldier. He was just a shepherd. But he had this passion to follow God. And he believed that God was bigger than Goliath, right? That God was more powerful. So he aligned himself with God. And when he witnessed the injustice of Goliath's words and treatment of the people of Israel, David volunteered as Israel's representative. And he swung his sling in the story and launched a stone into the air, and it hit Goliath right on the forehead, and he fell to the ground defeated. When have you witnessed someone fight for justice? Uh, reflect back on a time when you stood up for justice. How were you able to do that? How were you able to overcome your fears and to stand on the side of justice? I want you to hear these words from the song that we often sing during our Sunday morning worship called Our God. And the words say, Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome in power. Our God, our God. Do we really believe that? Do we re really believe that God has the power when we face injustice, and it would enable us to stand for justice. Hear what Micah chapter 6, verse 8 says. It says this, He has shown you, O mortal, what is good, and what does the, re the Lord require of you, to act justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. So God requires us to do justice, he requires us to embrace faithful love, and he wants us to walk with him humbly. And we can be bold as believers because God is greater and stronger than any problem or any giant in our life. Our faith and trust in God is the power that lives within us. And so during this session of Knights of North Castle, we will discover another castle callout. Uh, our session two castle callout is armor up with justice. Our goal is to teach our students that our faith and trust in God will empower us to stand up for God and for what is right. All leaders will repeat the castle call out during the teaching times at BBS or at family night, sorry, because God gives us strength and we can have courage to seek the right, to seek justice. So let's pray. Almighty God, and gracious God, thank you for your grace and guidance during our first session. We see your power at work in the lives of these little knights. We come asking for the same grace and guidance for this session. We are reminded of your word in the book of Ephesians to put on your armor and be strengthened by the Lord and the powerful strength and his powerful strength as we work for justice for all. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Look forward to seeing you all tomorrow night.